Hi everyone, we are Team Pizza Bagel and for our second tech tip we decided to do Story Jumper. To move along the process, I went and created my account, but all you have to do is go into your Google account and you're set. So to make a book, you're going to go down to My Personal Books, create a book. You can do ABCs of, All About Me, Hero, Monster, you can do any type of book, but I want to do blank because you get to make your own story. When you first get to the page, you come along a YouTube video that shows you how to use Story Jumper, which is nice and it really comes in handy. Um, if you don't want to do that in the beginning, if you feel like you got it covered but you get stuck along the way, you can come to the top right corner up here, How To, and just click on it and it'll show you what to do. Cover page, you just have to add a title and then the author's name. And you can add images over here, or if you want to add an actual image from Google or from your computer that you have saved, you just come right down here to Photos and you can upload it yourself. And, the dog. and then you have a little dedication page. And you can thank whoever. All right. And then you come to the first page of your story. So what you want to do is add a text box, just like this. Okay. And then you go down to props, grab the boy, grab the dog. And what's really neat is you can go down here to scenes, you type in park, right there and you guys are in a park. Or if you were writing another story and you guys are, you know, in the city, you could do that. If you're at home, you could do that. In the woods, you could do anything you want, which is really neat. So they went to the park and you can add more props. You can type in the park, show you a bench, and it brings it to the props down here. And there you go. And you can keep going and going. Right down here um, to the bottom right, you can add pages, you can delete pages, or if you want to delete any images, you just click on the image itself, hit X, and you're good. If you decide you want to add the image back, it's right here in your props because you used it before. And there you go. And what's really neat is you can add voices to the pages, so you can record yourself saying the boy and his dog went to the park, which is really neat. And you just keep every page, you know, will be a park, and then they could go home. You could change up the scenes, and then it's nighttime. And just keep going for as many pages as you want. And when you are ready to save your book, you just do save and exit. And then you could share it, you could print it, you could edit it more, you could buy it if you want. Um, and that's basically it. So here's our assessment, and here's what we're going to have you do with Story Jumper today.